it says that this doll has red hair. Now, call me colorblind, but this doesn't look red to me. I'm the Louisiana Quadling, a Wizard of Oz collector and enthusiast, sharing with you my thoughts, my collection, and a little bit of my musical talent with all of you. And welcome to my channel. Today, we're looking at another release from the Madame Alexander Doll Company. This Glinda the Good Witch doll was released by Madame Alexander in 1994 and originally cost a hundred US dollars. This doll was the first and only 14-inch doll to be advertised as part of the Madame Alexander Wizard of Oz collection. The previous two Dorothy dolls this size were part of the Classic Dolls collection. Glinda comes packaged in a very large, dark blue shoebox styled box with Madame Alexander printed on the box in green and purple. This is the biggest box Madame Alexander used for this sized Wizard of Oz doll. The bottom of the box features a picture of Madame Alexander herself, and the name of the doll, her doll number, this is doll number 141573, and her hair color and eye color. And Glinda here stands 14 inches tall and features a completely vinyl body. She has five points of articulation at the neck, shoulders, and hips. Glinda uses the Martha head sculpt. This is the only Wizard of Oz doll this size to feature this head sculpt. The back of her head indicates Alexander copyright 1978, which is when this sculpt debuted. She features these gray-blue sleep eyes. They appear to be the exact same color as the previous two Dorothy dolls that we looked at in this collection. Her makeup is mainly pink oriented. The doll features rooted hair. Now, this is where we get into an interesting little part about this doll. If you noticed on the box, it says that this doll has red hair. Now, call me colorblind, but this doesn't look red to me. It looks more like a wheat brown. So, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be red or whether it was changed later on down the line. I'm not entirely sure, but whatever the case is, this is definitely not red. While her outfit is not completely faithful to Billy Burke's costume from the movie, isn't it just so sweet? The outfit is made up of different materials, from taffeta to the lace to the little embellishments on her bodice. Underneath her skirt, she is wearing white panties and stockings. On her feet are simple silver slippers. So, if you want to make any of the other 14-inch Madame Alexander Dorothy dolls wearing silver slippers, get Glenda and trade shoes with them. Glenda's accessories include her crown and her wand. The crown is made up of fabric and has an elastic band on the back so it doesn't fall off the head. I really like the wand. I know it's smaller than Billy Burke's in the movie, but I really like how it's made up of this transparent plastic and has little silver sequins on the inside. Makes it look really cool. Like all of the other Madame Alexander dolls that we've looked at so far, that wand is also tied on her hand with pink string. On Glenda's left wrist is the hang tag, and as I said before, this is the first Wizard of Oz Madame Alexander doll that's actually part of the Wizard of Oz line, so the tag indicates that. The inside gives you information on the Madame Alexander doll company, and the back advertises other Wizard of Oz dolls that were available in 1995. Out of all of the 14-inch Madame Alexander Wizard of Oz dolls, this is the only Glinda that was made. Now, I'm not sure if, since she's the only Glinda, that's what made this doll a little bit rarer than some of the other Dorothys. But back when I got this doll, it was a little bit difficult to find her. Now, she wasn't a limited release, but 
since she's kind of the odd one out with the 14 inch dolls, that might be the reason why she's a little bit rarer. People probably didn't buy as many of her, which is such a shame. She's such a cute little doll. Today, I've seen the doll sell anywhere between $30 to $50. She's definitely one of the more unique Glindas from the Madame Alexander Doll Company. Be sure to check out my other videos covering more dolls from the Madame Alexander Doll Company. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. New videos are posted every two weeks on the 15th and last day of each month. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the International Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time, bye y'all.